The most common complaint for nagging is not helping to tidy the home. But is this a woman's right? Self-confessed nag, Christine Hamilton thinks it is and believes men were born to be nagged, while journalist Helen Croydon thinks persistent badgering is the number one cause of failed relationships. I can feel quite a ding-dong coming on here. <laughs> so, without further ado, let the battle commence. You should be allowed to nag, then. Part of life. No, well, it's not a right to nag. We have to nag. It's your fault we nag, because if only you did what we said in the... Yes, it is. If you just did what we said the first time, you wouldn't have to. And men... Do you know, men are programmed to ignore 80%, roughly, of what we say. It just goes over their heads. It's up, you see. He's not... We don't like nagging. We're aware. It's kind no. of verbal castration. It's just you look as though you're enjoying I know, it. and you're looking at me and I'm morphing into sort of Hilda Ogden, ghastly role. You are, I know, that's what you're thinking. Please, if only you do your, what you're told, we don't have to do it. It's reminding, anyway. It's being helpful. It's not nagging. Oh. Hello, Helen. Oh, hello. <laughs> Speak to me instead. I not necessary, much is it? I think there is nothing... A, a woman nagging is ugly, uncomposed. It shows she has no control and no life. Did you hear that important... man clapping yeah. then? <laughs> uh, well, you know, there are more important things in the world than remembering to so shut the sock drawer, quite yes. frankly. Or put and the I lid think... of the loo down. Yes. Well, you, you said it. Is... I think we've touched a raw nerve there, haven't we, Alan? No, I have a house full of women. I do it every time. Well, I know I... to do it. Now. <laughs> I know to do it. Now. It's just that, you know, as soon as we get into a relationship, as soon as you, you symbolise you want commitment, lots of people in those relationships seem to think that that gives them carte blanche to take ownership of that person and try and change them. And I think that's hugely detrimental well, to it's our Well, it's itself. written, it's written. You, you, no, know, what, you know what you're in for as a man, cos it's written in the marriage service, it says, I'll alter him. <laughs> that, that's, that's what... I'll alter him, that's brilliant. Um, that's what the seven-year itch is all about. When you get married, you know that there are things about him always him, that you don't like and they're going to annoy you, but you think, I can change them. You can succeed where it, your mother-in-law has failed. <laughs> After seven years, you realise that she hasn't failed. You can't change it. <laughs> Off to the divorce court. Oh, well, that's the I think if you keep on telling some, someone to do something and they don't do it, there's a reason for that, and that's because just they don't prioritise. <laughs> Clearly, to them, we picking up socks and wet towels is not a priority, and you won't change them by keep on telling <laughs> them to do it. <laughs> yeah, but if you choose to live with someone, I think you just have to accept that you have different priorities and that's part of the compromise. Let me just pick up some... wet socks and wet towels is not my priority either. I expect to pick them up if they're my wet towel. <laughs> but he's going to come up if they're his wet towel. Can I, can I, I'm just going to... Just <laughs> stop here for a minute. Stop nagging each other for a minute. <laughs> Linda, Linda, are you a nagger? I, you... I don't like the word nag. No. Old nag, nagger, I don't like that word. I just like things to be how they're meant to be in my house. And I'm, I'm with you, Christine, with yeah. the wet towel and the socks and the toothpaste when they brush their teeth and they just spit it in the sink and then they don't wash the sink down They don't afterwards. put the lid back There's on. There's so yes, many things can I that just say this point? There's no earthly reason why the loo roll needs to hang one way rather than the other. I mean, <laughs> what is there? Where do they put the empty loo roll thing back in there? Why not put it in the bin? No, but because because I would put it in the wrong bin. <laughs> it needs to go in the recycling bin. Because did you know? The recycling. That goes without saying. There's a recycling. I have to go down my dustbin and take the recycling out because they just love everything in there. <laughs> so I get my rubber gloves off and I'm down that bin taking the recycling out. Do you, do you ever wish, do you, ever the wish you hadn't asked? <laughs> Kirsty, do you nag? No, but w w why don't they do that for you? Because I, I spend all my life asking them to, and then when they don't, I get worried about the recycling, so I take it out and put it in the recycling So they depend thing. on you getting so worried? They do, yeah. We've yeah. got a splinter group breaking <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to keep on doing it, no, nothing will stop it, you. what you haven't understood, and I, how many more times have I got to tell you, it isn't <laughs> nag... <laughs> it isn't nagging, it is being helpful. We're reminding you, that's all. It's, it's nothing not to do helpful with nagging. if they're not listening. No. It takes two minutes no, to I've put the stopped. loo roll in the bin, but it takes five minutes to argue about. Yes. But it's, but Just it's, remember, it's... ladies and gentlemen, the one rule is don't put it down, put it away. We've learned <laughs> and heard what our guests are about to say. But we want to know your thoughts. Do we really? Yes, we do, really. Have your say on our Facebook page or by emailing alanatitv.com and at the end of the show... We'll be asking our lovely studio audience for their votes. My thanks for now, because we won't have heard the last of it. To Christine and Helen, thank you very much. <laughs>